Callahan's first look presented by Nissan. This year, the New England Patriots are two and six under their first year head coach, Gerard Mayo. They're coming off a win over the Jets. Their young quarterback, Drake May, suffered a concussion in the game against the Jets. So he is in the protocol right now. Their backup is Jacoby Brissett, who it feels like has been in this league since the late 1960s. He's played forever. But it's another week, Brian Callahan, where you don't know who the other team's quarterback is going to be. It seems like you've had about six of these. Yeah, I think that's what where the league is right now. Uh, that's how these things are going. But they got a young player that they drafted highly and think highly of. And then uh, Jacoby's been doing it for a long time. And, and he's very capable. Uh, he, he's a veteran quarterback. He sees it. He can get the ball out. He's, he's, a, he's a proven commodity in this league. And I'm, I'm sure they're happy to have him as well to help fill in. He's a pro. Absolutely. You yeah. know, that's the thing about Jacoby Brissett is if he's going to start, he's ready. If he's a backup, he's ready. He can make the throws. He's just there to do the job, and uh, you really respect that type of player, much like Mason Rudolph has been stepping in the last two games for you. Yeah, very similar, and just those guys that have played and they understand how to play and know what the role is and how to prepare for it, uh, you can tell Jacoby is a, is a pro's pro, and every time he steps out there, he's prepared and does a good job. Tight end Hunter Henry has been a bright spot for the Patriots, more than 350 yards receiving this season. All right, let's talk about how your team matches up with this big tight end, Coach. You know, we, we saw we saw some good tight ends last week. Uh, we've seen a few over the course of the season, and um, yeah, he's he's productive. They find ways to get him the ball. Uh, he knows he knows how to play the position. He knows how to make plays in the ball. So we have to do a good job of accounting for uh, where he's at in the formation, the routes they like to run him on, and, and how we can be in position to best defend him. On defense, second-year defensive end Keon White leads the team with four sacks and two forced fumbles. Had a chance to spend time with him at the Senior Bowl a couple years ago. That guy is heavy. How do you keep him away from your quarterback? Yeah, it just uh, you got to match the physicality. Uh, it's a physical defense. It's a physical mindset for them on defense. They, they uh, have always historically done a good job. And obviously with, with Gerard Mayo there, they have a lot of remnants of the same things they've been doing for a long time. And uh, he's just one of the, the next in line of a lot of guys that look and feel the same as him. Um, and they play at a high level and they play hard um, and they're physical and they make life, life hard for you on offense. Played a good game against a very physical Jets team, taking a 25-22 victory. That's Callahan's first look. Good to be home this week and have yes. a chance to play November football at Nissan Stadium. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Talk to me a little bit about what your team's preparation is going to be like this week as you get ready to take on a team like the Patriots. Um, really, there are our process won't change a whole lot. Um, we got to make sure we focus on taking care of our job first, which is uh, the things that have allowed us to uh, get ha uh, lose some games. And that's uh, the details and our habits and how we go about the business of the week and um, really got to do a better job of tightening down some of our, our eye discipline. Um, and then again, some of the things in the special teams to, to keep us in position to win.